Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to MVR. If you're new to VR, then welcome to the family, but if you've been around for a while, you might have been wondering what's next. VR headsets are getting better all the time, but all the same, we have not reached Ready Player One levels of realism just quite yet. Getting us one step closer to that would require some kind of way to get feedback to the player as to what's happening with their VR avatar. One such way would be using haptic feedback devices found to a lesser extent in our controllers. Now while there are numerous companies that have tried varying approaches to solve this problem, the solution has often been extremely expensive. Probably the most prolific and ambitious company has been Tesla Suit, which has funded and created a full body haptic suit that unfortunately comes at the steep price of almost $3 thousand dollars, which isn't exactly cheap. It's no surprise then that eventually other companies tried their hand at making something more affordable, even if the end result would be slightly less ambitious. Enter B Haptics. B Haptics is a South Korean based company that focuses on developing haptic feedback systems for VR. Their approach has been somewhat novel in the sense that they've developed a modular system where you can buy individual parts for much less than a $3,000 Tesla suit. The B Haptics line of products consists out of a tactical vest dubbed Tactot, as well as several Tactosi for your arms feet and hands, as well as a facial interface, which combined will let you experience enhanced haptic feedback all over your body. Their original haptics vest, the Tactot, came in at $499, but has since received a redesign and rebrand to the new and improved Taxuit X, which comes in a 40 and 16 haptic motor variation, which cost $499 and $299 respectively, and are set to ship between December of this year and the end of January 2021. The new improved comfort features are supposed to not only make it easier to wear for longer periods of time, the breathing fabric should also help in situations where your environment is just a little bit more hot, and the lower price for the X16 variant also makes the vest a lot more accessible for people with a lesser budget. So if you're looking to get that extra level of added immersion, like someone giving you a back massage in VR chat, or feeling head craps trying to latch onto your face in Half-Life Alex, there's some solid options out there already. But what if we wanted to take it a step further? What if we also wanted full body tracking on top of that so we can show off our dance moves in VR chat? While it's quite possible to achieve some rudimentary level of full body tracking using something like an Xbox Kinect, the only way to achieve true and accurate full body tracking has been through the use of Vive trackers. Not only would a set of three, which is required to achieve full body tracking, cost almost $300, you would also need to be in the possession of a VR Lighthouse system to track them. Which is fine if you're already in the possession of an HTC Vive or Valve Index, but when you're using a camera based system like the Oculus series of devices, getting an extra Lighthouse system just for the full body tracking would make your costs go up very rapidly. Thankfully, it seems that this technology is also ready for the next step to make it more accessible for the consumer market. Shockwave is a wireless and custom fit virtual reality haptic suit with full body tracking integrated directly into the suit itself. Recently launching their Kickstarter campaign with an extremely cheesy marketing trailer featuring what looks to be the company's first ever hardware product. A suit which makes your VR experience more real than reality itself. Their Kickstarter page makes a bunch of ambitious promises, including full accurate body tracking without lighthouses, using IMU trackers, as well as 64 haptic feedback motors, which is way more than any other product currently on the market. And all of that for a price of less than an Oculus Quest 2 makes it seem a little bit sus though. The Kickstarter deal includes a version of the haptic suit plus three games developed by the company themselves that have full support for all the features the suit offers. And while if real seems like a pretty good deal, the game themselves look pretty much like the same game with three different skins slept onto them, so I wouldn't really be jumping to get the vest just to experience them. But the good news though is that the Kickstarter goal has already been reached, so we can easily wait the six months that it will take according to the company itself to get their product to market and review the hardware at that time. Regardless of how you look at it, the VR industry is continuously evolving, and the future looks bright. Technology that just a few years ago seemed completely out of the reach of regular consumers at home keeps coming down in price, making it more and more accessible, letting anyone with disposable income experience the amazing things that VR has to offer. Even if the Kickstarter project that we just looked at turns out to be fake, it will only be a matter of time before other companies come along that can actually deliver on these promises, and I for one am extremely excited for when that happens. 
So what do you guys think of haptic feedback and full body tracking? Do you think it's a logical next step? What would an ideal price point for you be to want to invest in such a setup? Let me know in the comments down below or you can join our Discord and discuss it with me there. For now though, I hope you enjoyed this content. Smash the like button if you did, and as always, I will see you guys next time.